Hi everyone! Jill Flegolos is back after Hurricane Dorian and so is the Long Dark. Yay! I'll tell you a bit more about Hurricane Dorian in a bit. But I think, um, where, where are we at? We're in the Paradise Meadows farm. Okay. And I think my next goal is going to be to get back home to the Milton House. Now, I haven't decided what we're going to do in this episode yet, other than talk about Hurricane Dorian. But, um, you know what? That's not a problem. We'll think about what we're going to do when we get get back home. First, I'm going to drop off all the stuff I have in my pockets. Oh. And, yeah. You know what? We might go. We might go up to the radio tower today. That might be... It's just outside Milton. I'm not, I know I haven't looted all the houses in Milton yet, but uh, those I could loot at any time. So if, if there's a blizzard, I'll loot those. So we won't do that today if the weather's decent. Okay, a little chilly out, but not bad. A little bit foggy, but it's not bad either. Let's see, did I map this area? I don't believe I did. Let's do that then. Lighten the load a little by sketchy sketch. There we go. Alright, now let's head back home. Hold on, I'm getting a bit of lag here. This isn't good. Let me see. Maybe it's because I have tropical tidbit fluid on my other screen. Hold on. Still a bit of lag. It's not ideal. Usually this game doesn't lag like this. I, I don't know why, but just doing so. But anyway, we'll see about what happens. Maybe the PC is just a little grumpy today, or there there was a big update to Windows, I think, just after Hurricane Dorian. And that might be causing it to run a little slower. have we down there? Those look like saplings to me. Those saplings can be used, I believe, for making either arrows or bows, depending on whether they're birch or maple. And I think those are maple saplings down there. So I think they use those to make a bow and the birch saplings to make arrows. Of course, you have to cure them before you do that. But we'll get into that later. Well, let's sprint a second. Here we go. I'm just a little impatient this morning for some reason. Which honestly is a terrible thing to me in the long dark. You gotta be patient. Man, is it ever laggy? Whew. Let's see if I can fix that. Doesn't seem to make a difference, eh? Does it? Whatever. Let's go back up to high quality then. Whatever.
Yeah, I really don't know why it's lagging. It must be the Windows update. Oh well. Can't do much about that. Just gotta deal with it. Oh shoot, I didn't bring a hatchet. That's brilliant. I left that at the other house. Well, I guess we're not getting the maple saplings. Oh well. We won't be making a bow any anytime soon anyway. Or we'll be getting into hunting with the rifle most likely anyway in the next few episodes. Who knows, maybe I'll even show you how to hunt this episode. I have four rounds of ammo, so I mean I can definitely hunt or show you how to do so. Well, I have, I have little need to hunt right now because I got so much food. I mean, in uh, Mountain Town, you probably won't have to hunt very much in the early game anyway because Milton usually has a ton of food. So anyway, I guess I'll talk about Hurricane Doriad on the way to the house. Well, Hurricane Dorian made landfall just a few hours after I recorded the last episode as a Category 2 uh, post-tropical cyclone. So fairly close to Sambro. And yeah, the, the day, it was almost as bad as Hurricane Juan back in 2003. Or, well, the worst hurricane to strike Nova Scotia since Juan. So in other words, it was a pretty big deal. I personally didn't lost power for four days. But other than a few trees blowing down, everything else was okay. I recorded a video of um, Hurricane Dorian from my house on my other YouTube channel. So if you want to check out what the conditions were and learn more about it, go take a look at that. But the most noble thing that happened during Hurricane Dorian in Nova Scotia was a large construction crane on South Park Street got blown against the building and as far as I know the developer who uh, is working on the building is still trying to remove that crane as of today or I don't know if they're doing it today it's the weekend when I'm recording this but they haven't figured out how to get the crane down yet so And we're, I was expecting a lot more tree damage around my property than I actually saw. But my neighbor, I didn't lose many trees, but some of my na neighbors lost big clubs. Well, just like Hurricane Juan in that regard. If you get a hurricane, you often get these big downdrafts. That's a wolf. Don't be worried. And then these downdrafts can flatten all the trees in a localized area. I didn't happen to get any downdrafts on my trees, so that's why I didn't lose tons of trees. There was one big tree got uprooted. And a few smaller ones, but it was maybe, I don't know, a dozen trees. I don't know, several thousand that I have on my land, so really not a big deal. My sailboat survived without any damage whatsoever, so that's ex that's excellent. But I did spend probably, I don't know, pretty much all of Thursday preparing for the hurricane, so the Lesson I have for you, good hurricane preparedness pays off. 
Don't panic when you see a hurricane warning. Just prepare for it, and you'll be okay. Well, unless it's a Category 5. Just like, uh, Florian was in the, um, Bahamas. Then your best bet is just to evacuate. Take what you can with you. If you want to know what that looked like, go check out uh, Josh Morgerman's video. It's pretty insane. It's literally there's reinforced concrete buildings knocked over by Dorian. So yeah, but yeah. The uh, lack of power made things slightly similar to Long Dark, except well, there were some important differences. Firstly, there was a lot more food available in my house. Why am I looking in the freezer? No idea. And so I didn't have to go looting houses for food. And what else was there? And there was no, uh, there were no Aurora Borealis, unfortunately, even though I went in the eye. Can you imagine how, how cool that would have looked if I had Aurora Borealis in the, in the middle of the eye of Hurricane Dorian? Wow. What? Oh well. That didn't happen, unfortunately. But, I did indeed have to use things like, well, this, um, storm lantern, because I had no, no power, so, I'd light my house with, uh, actually candles, but, you get the idea. Storm lantern, and I would cook over a, a methanol stove. Just cooking on a wood stove is just a pain in the keister. So what else am I carrying that I don't need? So we're going to go up to the radio tower, I think, and take a look at some stuff there. And oh, and by the way, there were no wolves around my area. Now, there are no wolves anywhere in Nova Scotia, to be honest, at all. Unfortunately, I kind of like wolves, but I've never seen one, sadly. What do we have that's heavy? And yes, there are bears in Nova Scotia, but the bears aren't really aggressive typically, so you don't have to worry. Carry anything that's really heavy? It doesn't seem like it. You know what? <clears throat> Sorry about that, folks. Anyway. Yeah. So, it was a little bit like the long dark, but I didn't get bored. Aside from, well, a bit of tree clearing. Past the time of the afternoon, I went for a sail in my undamaged sailboat, and I... Play music on some old 78 RPM gramophone records. The thing is a lineup machine and it's about 100 years old, but it honestly sounds amazing. I would, uh, it's a little simpler than the iPod, but I can tell you for a fact that uh, I'd be shocked if an iPod would still be working 100 years from its date of manufacture. They just don't make stuff like nowadays like they used to. Alright. 
I think I've been talking about Hurricane Dorian enough. Let's uh, go to the radio tower. There's a few other areas back up this way too that are worth checking out. Like there's a wrecked plane up here too, so we'll check all those areas out. There's a cave up this way too, which see the tie part? Oh yeah, we got all the time in the world. This area is usually pretty wolf-free as well, so except for there's, there's a couple wolves on the way to the plane. But that's about it. There's a sign here saying radio tower, so we'll follow our way up there, I guess. There's the radio tower, right there! Yay. I think there's, I think you can climb up to it on the front face? But, we, I can try. I really don't remember what's spawned there. Ooh, the wolves fairly close. Okay. Hold on, folks. All right. Just had a little interruption here, but all's well again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get up to the radio tower this way. I'm pretty sure those are the two wolves that you hear are the ones that are on the way to the plane crash. Which, if you've ever played story mode, that's where you start. It's a little steep, as you can see. If you see this um, red indicator down there, that means that you're on a slope steep enough that you can potentially get a sprain. Which isn't that likely if you're in good shape, but if you're exhausted or encumbered, the chance is much greater. Hmm. We can't get up this way. Okay, whatever. It's worth a shot. Alright, here you go. Just take it up, right? Climb here. <sighs> These climbs do. These climbs are not ropes. That's the thing. These climbs are a bit different from rope climbs, which we will also encounter later on. In that they don't really care if you're, well, encumbered. You can't climb rope if you're encumbered at all. And they don't really drain your energy particularly much either. So, yeah. Here is the radio tower. There's a supply crate down there, and then there might be something in there, but... I honestly never had much luck finding anything here, but... You know what? Why not? Take a quick look.
I might just go to the plane crash or something like that and call this episode quits there. Tell me something this big bin, eh? Nothing. That figures. I never found anything in here in the past, so. Go figure. I do believe there's a cave up this way somewhere. That cave had a rifle in it in my last playthrough. Now, there's no guarantee you'll find a rifle in there, but there could be a rifle. I think this is a hiking trail, to be honest. Okay, I just took a shortcut. This is the road over here to the radio tower, if you follow that. No, we don't want to go that way, because it'll just take us right down. We want to go this way. First. There's a cave here. Now, some caves have bears in them. You can usually tell if the cave has bears in them by, um, bones in the entrance. This one has no bones, so it's totally fine. Brilliant name. It's called a cave. <laughs> 